So this is our final interactive dashboard that depends on the different filters and parameters. For example, if we select the global sales, North American sales, Europe sales, starting for example from 1990 or 1992 up to 2013 for example hello guys and welcome to this tutorial about creating a video game sales dashboard using tableau so first we are going to import our csv file to do that we click on tool file more you look for the folder where you have put the csv file and you double click on it in order to put it in tableau the link to download the csv file is available in the description so first let's see what we have in our data set as i said it is about video games sales so we have 11 fields so 11 columns and nearly 70k rows we have the rank for each name of the video game we have the platform the year the genre the publisher and we do have the total sales which are divided into five different columns we have north america sales europe sales japan sales other sales and global sales so let's go to worksheet and create our first graph so we click on sheet one for example if we want to create the total sales by year okay so we can do for example one graph for europe sales another worksheet for global sales another worksheet for japan sales and north america sales etc so this will take a lot of time and a lot of space in our dashboard so to work in a smarter way we are going to create a parameter and a calculated field which we will use as a filter in order to have all the sales in one graph so we will only need to play on the filter so to do that we create we click on create parameter we call it zone cells so the data type it will be string and allowable values it will be a list so we put our values here so we put eu cells we write global sales Japan sales we have North America sales and finally we have other sales okay so you click on okay right so we have here our parameter now we create a calculated field so create calculated field we call it same thing zone sales okay and we use case statement so we have case right zone sales so right when we have europe sales no put it like a string u sales then we will have Europe sales okay when we have for example global sales then select for me global sales right when Japan sales same thing G GP sales okay then select for me Japan sales when we have North America sales then select for me North America sales okay and finally when other sales then select for me other sales all right and apply okay now we start our visualization we said we put the year in the columns okay so we have the different years right and we want to visualize the zone cells okay as we have said we can visualize Europe cells for example and then we do another worksheet for global cells as you are about here what we are going to do is that we are going to visualize the, the sum of zone cells okay and here we filter data right so we don't want to have null values and then you click on show parameter okay here you can change for example we have global sales we have other sales and we have for example north america sales 
okay so it is much better than having five worksheets so we can rename the worksheet as sales by years okay and for example we can uh, duplicate that so we click on, we press on control key you put the sum in here the first one we are going to make it in black okay not this one so the first one it is in black and the second one it will be an area chart okay and we put it for example in blue or we click on more colors and we select another for example this one okay so just to uh, change the color uh, we d we click on dual axis to create our graph okay so here we have our uh, graph and for example we can add uh, for example genera into the colors for example where we have put the area chart okay so we can d drag and drop genera into the colors thus we will have the different uh, area charts for each genera depending on the years okay we can also put the genera into the filters for example show filter right and we change it into uh, multiple value drop down this will allow us to compare the different cells for example in North America okay so we have selected North America cells we can for example compare the genera let's say we compare action and racing okay for example action and racing between 1980 and the uh, and 2020 okay for example if you want to create and to zoom into the years using a filter we can create another parameter okay we call it create parameter right and we put it start date it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be an integer right and we put it a range so select values from we put here so this is the start date okay and we create another parameter okay create parameter call it end date same thing as an integer and it will be a range select add values from the year okay we put it okay then we create another calculated field so create calculated field study period okay if year okay is greater or equal than start date and year is less or equal than the end date so the different parameters that we have created then give me one okay else give me zero so end apply okay so we are going to convert it into a dimension first okay convert to dimension and then we put it into the filters we select one so we want our period to be between start date and end date apply okay then we click on show parameter and show parameter right so here we can drag and drop the legend into the bottom and we can move and play with our date okay so for example we want to compare in the sales in Europe for adventure and fighting between 1996 and 2013 okay so here we have our data we can also select all and select all the period okay so here we have dynamic and an interactive chart and it is better than having multiple worksheets to create chart for Europe, Global, uh, North America, other cells and other for genera etc. Okay, so it is much much better to have this, uh, these parameters that help us to create an interactive plot. Okay, so here we have our legend. The blue is action. For example, if you click on action, adventure, right, misc, etc. Now we are going to to do some modifications so edit axis right so we remove the year we know that it is years we do the same thing for the other axis so we put 
we remove the titles and this also will help us to gain space okay as you can see here we can change the name so we have by years and genera okay we double click on the title we select we put it in the middle in bold and we change it into black apply okay we're going to format our worksheet okay so here we do have we put it in black and bold right uh, we put the okay so we add the borders so for the cell it will be in black for the pen same thing and for the header okay we can also format the title okay format title and we put for example the shading we put this color right okay so here we have our first chart okay we can also edit the titles and uh, the filters and the parameters but we are going to do that when we uh, create our dashboard so this is the sales by years and genera so we have the the sales and the genera we can also play with the years right same thing so we have created the genera we have created the year now for example we can uh, create the different now we can show the different cells by for example name let's say the top 10 names by by cells okay so we create for example top 10 names by cells okay so we do the same thing we use the created calculated field okay uh, we put it in the rows right and or in the columns then we put the names in the rows okay so we are going to uh, sort that and we create a filter so we said top 10 names okay so it's top by field so top 10 by the uh, zone sales okay apply okay we convert it to the entire view and we can add for example you click on control you press on control key you put the sum in the labels right we can change the color it will be in blue right we can edit the axis axis so here we have Pokemon we have uh, same thing and we have the different names up, up to the tenth this is for as we can see here we can show the parameter right show parameter so here we are in Japan we go into to North America it will directly change to Wii Sports Super Mario etc if we go for example to uh, Europe same thing okay it will change we can do the same thing for the uh, the date for example start date and the end date we need to uh, put the study period into the filters one apply okay so we show the parameters show parameter and same thing show parameter right so we can play with different years right can see too much tension here but starting from 2009 there is change okay now this is for the filter right and we do the same thing we do some modifications so set by top 10 names by sales okay top 10 name by sales we do the same thing so we are going to put it in the middle in bold right in black apply okay we remove or hide field labels for rows and we format our worksheet okay so it will be in black and bold and the same thing for the title so we are going to format title and we put a sharing like blue or this one okay so here we have the top 10 names by sales we can just duplicate that okay and we for, for example here we have the publisher okay so we have the name now now we can visualize the platform so we put platform in the rows 
we sort same thing and we are going to create the top 10 show filter right no not show filter but filter top by field we have the top 10 apply okay so here we do have the top 10 we change the name okay so top 10 platforms by sales okay so the applicating is much much better to avoid doing the same modifications okay since here we only want to change the name and here we have the sum of the cells by uh, the zone okay if we change for example to Japan it will be changed okay for example if we go to North America same thing right so we have top 10 platforms by sales we have the platforms in the rows the sum in the calons and we change we remove the name okay so we don't label the name in the filters right and here we are going to have the top 10 okay top 10 sales or top 10 platforms by sales okay we have the zone of sales and we have the study period okay so here we have the top 10 platforms here we have the top 10 names as you can see here we have name in the filter and here we do have platform in the filter right we can duplicate that and do the same thing for the publisher right we can also change the type of the graph for example if we want to uh, have for example a uh, tree map or we do have if you want to have for example a bubble chart for example okay and for example we can change here uh, the color so we add the sum into the label so can we see the the, the sum and we can change the color right it is color for example we can put it in blue sign up apply okay but when we change it into uh, this it will be so the color will depend on the platform but we want the color that we depend on the uh, the sum okay so the darker is the uh, the color the more cells we have in the zone so we change we put the platform as detail and we change we press control key and we change the same into the colors right we do the same thing for the label okay so the darker the bigger is the circle the more cells we do have okay so we have the entire view right if we change it to uh, Europe okay same thing but we do have the name the sum of cells in detail and we change it into color right okay so here we have changed the uh, the color will depend on the sum the size the same thing it will depend on the sum and we have the labels okay so we have the platform and the total cells if we change it for example to Japan okay if we change it to North America right so we have uh, the different values we can uh, leave it as it is okay so the sum of the zone cells will depend on the color so the darker the color the more cells we have and we can do the same thing for the publisher so click it we click in here duplicate so top 10 cells or top 10 publishers by cells okay right so we have top 10 publishers by sales and here as we have said we remove the name we remove the name we put the publisher in the rows we sort that we click on filter top 10 okay apply all right so here we have the publisher top 10 publishers by sales and we have the sum and we have also the date so we can change it into Europe we can change it into global change it to uh, North America but if we remove the year as you can see here okay so Nintendo uh, has uh, before 2007 it was in the in the top okay it was the first or the second okay 
but starting from 2010 okay it has lost one place okay and in 2016 you know we have Ubisoft to have electronic arts that took the uh, the first position and second position in North America okay so we have we have used all the, the genre the names the platforms and the publishers all right for example same thing in here we can change it into a, another chart for example we can use tree map right and we can have we can add the sum into the labels so here we can we can see the total sales okay same thing when we change it to europe change it to global sales okay so we have the sales by years right top 10 names by sales top 10 publishers by sales top 10 platforms by sales okay so we have used all these uh, terms we can also create uh, another kpis for example total names total platforms total total publishers and total genre okay so we write total names in the data set all right okay. we press okay to do that we put name in text and we put count d okay so we measure count d right same thing we put it in the entire view we format that okay so the alignment it will be in the middle right we put it in black bold example in 10 right we can change the title so we can put it for example here in 12 and in black apply okay we can also format the title okay if we, if we put another shading for example we put this color and we have total names in the data set right we can also so we'll duplicate that and we can see the total platforms okay so we have platform in text and we put count d right so we have 31 platforms we change it to total platforms in the data set total platforms okay we can do the same thing for the publisher so we'll duplicate that duplicate we change it to publishers right publishers right and we put here publishers in count the right text and we change the measure into count distinct okay so we put the measure in count distinct so we have 579 publishers and finally we have the so we created the platforms the names the publishers and we have genre okay so we duplicate that duplicate total genres okay so we change the title into total genres right genre and we put here genre right so we have the count measure we select count D. we have 12 okay so this is for the different so this is for the different charts and graphs that we have created in our data set so we have here the dimensions and we have the measures we have created our parameters and our calculated fields right so we have the names the publishers platforms and the names so we have total names total uh, general platforms and so what we can create also we can create another uh, chart okay so for example create new worksheet okay since it is very important to know the total sales by genera so we create total sales by genera right so we put the genera into the columns right and we put the total sales so zone sales into the rows right so we order that and we select the entire view we can change the color into the blue right and we put the 
we press control key we put it into the label right we select the study period right one apply okay and we select our zone so show parameter right global sales Europe sales and North America sales that will depend on the date so start date and end date okay so as you can see here it will change depending on the year and it is an interactive chart right so total sales by genera you can change the title so we do some modifications we will hide the field and same thing we edit the access right and we format our chart so click it on format so it will be bold in black right we change it into uh, black black same thing for the header and we can rotate for example our label okay so it will be action sports shooter etc right we can also change our title so it will be bold in black apply and we can format our title right so we select the shading the same thing as the first ones okay so this is for the different worksheets that we have created now we will create our dashboard okay so select here new dashboard and you define your size okay so first to define the size okay so for example I can increase the width okay all right uh, the height for example all right and we start importing our worksheets okay so we start by the first one which is sales by year then uh, we have sales by genera okay then we can add the top 10 by or uh, top 10 here so okay top 10 publisher by sales and we select entire view same thing in here same thing in here we add the top 10 here so the top 10 names and we have also the top 10 platforms okay so you can rearrange them as you want we can add the uh, the zone sales so we put it here we have the start date and we do have the end date okay so we are going to put and date we put them in here okay all right the zone sales we don't need that and we can change for example our dimensions okay so we are going to put that in here same thing for the map right we can increase the height okay if you want to you have okay then we do have our filters or our parameters right okay for the genera it is we can put it in flooring okay flooring and we can put it in here right we can also format the uh, parameters okay so click on format parameters right so the alignment will be in the center and for the sharing for example you can choose this one or this color okay so this is for the parameters then we can change or edit our legend so format legend it will be in the center okay border we can be in black same thing for the genera so format filters and set controls it will be in the center okay 
and for the border it will be in black so this is for the genera and as you can see here if we change the zone it will be changed in all the uh, different graphs right so the top 10 publisher top 10 platforms top 10 names okay so you can rearrange them as you like okay so here we have the different names and the top 10 platforms the top 10 publishers okay as you can see here if we change the end date it will change in all the platforms okay same thing for the start date we change in all the charts same thing for the sales for Japan sales for example okay so we have our interactive dashboard now we can add the KPIs which represent the totals okay so we have the total names we have the total genres we have the total platforms and we have the final which is total publishers okay Alright, now we can rearrange that. For example, total platforms, total publishers, right? And finally, total names, okay? So we can just rearrange. Alright, we can increase this one a little bit and put them in here. want we, for example we can we can leave it as it is for the titles okay and here we have our final dashboard okay so we can change that a little bit in here decrease so here we do have our final dashboard for the video games sales and you can save that for example as an image so you can click on export dashboard export image and you can save it as an image where you can see all the different KPIs and the different graphs that you have created so that's it for this tutorial I hope that you have learned how to create sales dashboard using Tableau thanks for watching and see you in the next video